I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to get your line work uh, from a background that is surrounded by all white pixels to a uh, transparent background in just a couple of easy steps. In chapter 7 of my how-to book, The DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics, I describe how to do this uh, and you know to create some textures for brushes and that sort of thing. But this is a good process to use if you are coloring line art. And sometimes in the process of making cardboard cutouts, you will accumulate white pixels if you had drawn with a white brush, and it can be useful to eliminate them. And in general, this is just a useful technique to eliminate white pixels. Here is a piece of commissioned artwork that I did just recently um, that I've already converted to uh, a bitmap line. So this is the typical line work that a colorist would normally receive. It's this typical quality. Uh, so here we have it surrounded by white pixels. Um, now some people will duplicate the background layer, call it line art, line art, set it to multiply mode, and then any coloring that they do on a layer underneath that, the, the line art above it will block it out. <clears throat> This is not a bad way to go about it, but your file size will be pretty large because this line art here, even though it's set to multiply, the white pixels are still there. So uh, the file still saves the information for all those pixels. What I recommend instead is to select the whole canvas, select all, then to copy, go to your channels palette, create a new channel, called temp for background. This is just so that you know what it is. It's always good to keep things named just for organization. Inside that uh, channel, you want to paste the line work. Since you've selected the entire canvas and kept the selection active, the paste should come in to registration to the line work. The next step will be to load the selection of the line work that's in your channel. So go to select load selection and assuming that this is the only other channel that you have in your document other than the standard uh, image building channels it should default to this selection the temp for background hit OK so now we have marching ants around all the line work of the whole piece you won't need this temporary alpha channel anymore so feel free to delete that next let's go back to your layers palette and let's create a new layer and let's call it line art now for the color let's choose black and go to edit fill okay it's just about as simple as that so now instead of having white pixels surrounding our black line art we have a transparent background um, for example, if we were to create a solid color fill layer, you can see right through it. Um, so the benefit of eliminating white pixels in your line art layer, it makes the file size much smaller, as well as making for easy color holds, uh, so that whenever you make your selections to color hold some black line art, you're not getting white pixels into that selection as well. This concludes the tutorial on how to eliminate white pixels around your line art. Don't forget to visit freddyart.com for additional tutorials and DigiArt Quick Tool downloads.